Look everyone, we're doing a thing again. After a long hiatus, we are back in the exhilarating world of Medal of Honor. This game is really next gen. Look at No, you know what? I don't even remember recording this. No, 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 it's not next gen. There's no Facebook into integration on PS3. I'm pretty sure that's what the computer between his legs is for. Oh, is it? Yeah. That seems like a waste of mercy hard oh. Oh, is this the obligatory helicopter gunship rails? sequence? Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, and it's to be fair, it's one that offers a little more freedom than most. By which I mean, it kicks you in the balls a little less frequently than. No, it, it's shit. I'm. I can't keep this up. <laughs> what? What? What's Call of Duty 4's AC1 first mission good though? I just think it was pretty. It, it was kind of eerie. It wasn't, that's the thing. It was good because they were working yeah. on this cohesive narrative that involved the, that explored the juxtaposition between military hardware and the detachment of yourself from the military experience, and then everything else just copied. Yeah, perfectly. As you can see now, you're looking through your sights at these a man that just walked into a cave. Okay, never mind that. Some of the men having a disagreement or something. I was we're going to blow them up. What I like is how he comments about how they don't like the looks of those guys. That's such an appropriately racist comment. Well, if you, d if you don't like the looks of someone, that seems like a fair reason to kill them at the end of the day. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, d I, d I don't like the looks of them them taps. Them, them, them Asian folk. <laughs> them Arab gentlemen. Oh. oh no, there we go, they're shooting mortars. We'll see, it, we'll see, because they're Arab, they're shooting mortars. That's, that's an important distinction to make. Basically pedantic, uh, Beagles, but Afghans aren't Arabs. Yeah, but you, you have mm. to understand, I'm, I'm mocking the American mindset here. I'm not oh, I see, I see. You have to say Arabs, then. Ugh, I'm, I'm not capable of having that little intelligence. What's up with that? And, and also Iranian. Italian. Someone, someone explain. Biggles, can you explain this to me? Um... Americans suck at pronouncing, that's all I've got. Oh, but the Americans are good at pronouncing some things, I just don't get on, I just understand Iranians and Italian. Obviously, because... Oh, wow. You because are fucking shit are, up here. See, those are foreigners, we're not good, we don't, we don't want to invest the energy required to. Watching this again, I've just realized how dark this is. Uh, oh, it's a little bit. I don't know what no, it's no, trying no, to no, be. No, it's not like not like video, but tone. Oh, I thought you meant the <laughs> brightness. <laughs> no, brightness is brightness is unusually okay for one of my videos. Yeah, it does look a little bit. It does seem a little bit strange. What was I'm supposed to have terrible video? Well, actually, I haven't since I switched to NVIDIA Shadowplay trademark. Register trademark of NVIDIA Corporation. Please use this in all your future videos. I am not being paid. <laughs> what were you using before? DX Story or MSI or um, MSI, but MSI wasn't like... Well, M MSI doesn't carry over the presets you have, and my monitor's a bit wonky. Uh, it, it records everything at the exact brightness that the game is, you know, showing. Not with not withstanding your monitor settings, so it gets really screwed up. It's quite strange, actually. Yep. It it it, it works very badly for manhunt. Wow, it's, it doesn't record that well at all. Oh well, it's pretty good for being free though. For shadow players, free, but you have to. Well, you have to it's... own one of those crazy. Expensive... You know, I don't think games realize this. You know, in real life, it's not exactly too difficult to shoot down a helicopter with small arms. It's it's happened like more than a dozen times in this very war, but like, I love how they just flies over the jeep with a machine gun on the back of it, like... Well, it, what, I, what, I really like about, what I really like about this scene is how casual it is. I know, it's like the helicopter's not taking a base of maneuvers, it's like, slowly... It's a relaxing stroll through the Afghani countryside. Doesn't look too bad. Some uh, accidental to weapons discharge. Uh, the, uh, the cockpit is fed. Oh. Just as the bottom right, the obligatory heating up bar. I, I, I don't remember playing this. Wow. There's one guy called. The other guy's called Paul, apparently. I mean, Assuming you have a suitably badass call sign like Death Reaper or Crazy Ranger Horse or something. Ranger Duck. <laughs> duck Ranger. <laughs> oh man. The Bachelor Warrior. Ranger is. Is this it during Operation Acquire Asian Men? 
I, I don't know. Oh, a little background so that this time an in-joke doesn't go unexplained. Apparently Felix and our friend Omni roleplay generals on the acquisition of, of um, Filipino slave boys for various... Um, no, 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 I'm getting confused there. We were playing Rome 2. Yeah. And we were role playing as generals using Asian... Asian as in Turkish and fellow and Italian slave boys fight in all of all wrestling arenas. Uh, get it right, Biggs. I'm, I'm sorry, I haven't kept track of your vaguely sexual conquests for the past month. I've been very busy. Uh, that's it. I know, I'm, I'm always, Omni's been busy with the laundromats. Okay, hey, it kind of must come off as really racist in these videos. What is that? Maybe I just am, I don't really notice it. See, I think it's because I'm American. Oh, the music you is feel, horrible. You feel threatened this. by... Well, actually, believing that I'm racist is in itself racism. Going Inception in here. I don't know. I think that's a stare. Jesus Christ, this is just... How how did I play this? Mind-numbingly boring. About me, if you don't mind you know, to say. You know, this is an achievement, I think. They have managed to make a helicopter blowing up a town boring. This is, it, it's no Rambo First Blood Part 2. Oh you man. That. Uh, that, that was a helicopter Times. blowing up a town. Well, the new Rambo game is out. I saw haven't that. You, why haven't you bought it yet? Why haven't I bought it yet? Because... After playing... pounds is a bit steep for something that's going to have... Pops 10 minutes of amusement. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to wait until uh, that one hits. Virtually nothing. That take down Red Saber. Or Ryan Dino Lord. To be fair, I think I got more enjoyment out of takedown than I have of playing this so far. In uh, fact, I, I have... that was amazingly hilarious. I, I've, I've had part 6 and 7 of this recorded for like 3 months. And I just can't bring myself to finish this game. Well, do it, Bagels. Oh, you should have done one of the... Co you should have done a... Um, Black Ops 2 this free weekend. Is that might have free? actually been... I don't know, does, does the free weekend include the single player? Because in that case it's worth downloading it just to see how bad it's gotten. No, uh, sadly not. They probably knew that you would finish it in Ugh. like one day of the free weekend. Finish it in one sitting. I, I hear they've got them down to three hours. Wow. This is cool because his full campaign was short, but I thought that was a solid five or six hours, and it was yeah. like every bit of it was good. I mean, and, like, it, it wasn't overstretched, but like see, the the length didn't matter because they actually um, made it good. The length fit. I mean, they they basically did everything they had to do and then stopped, and I think that's I think that's the difference between that and games like this. Th these games are just like they're so they're artificially padded. This is the feeling I get. From I don't even know that this is padded. I just don't think there's a pro there's a point to it in the first place. But, but, but why? It's just like a checklist that every. Why don't they just not bother? Is what I don't understand. I mean, that's they're they're so concerned with making these campaigns, and I mean, look at this. No one wants to play this. I certainly didn't want to play this while I was doing it. It doesn't look like much fun. Like, it's at least it looks actually even worse than a Call of Duty campaign because it, it's not it's not unscripted it's not Half Life enough to be interesting, but it doesn't even have like the cool set piece of Call of Duty, so it's just some kind of Ooh. bastard child in between. Th there's a better game, Half Life. It'd be interesting to play of that. Did you did you put the can in the bin? Did you put the can in the bin? That, that's the question I ask. Everyone. What I usually do is put the can in the bin, then pick it back up, throw it back out of the bin. That's pretty. That's pretty YOLO, as the kids may say this these days. I've always thought YOLO is a good name for a breakfast cereal. Get my, I'm gonna get my YOLO today. I'm not sure if you um again. I'm not sure if you saw this certain video of um montage of Hulk Hogan with the "I Am a Real American" song playing in the background. <laughs> his theme song. Yes. <laughs> and then Omni, I think Omni found out something. Then at the end of it, it has. Hulk Hogan saying, eat your vegetables, go to school, and say your prayers. Be a real American. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so apparently all you need to be a real American is to say your prayers, eat your vegetables, and go to school. Have you heard on the um, Mr. T children's album? Uh, no, I haven't, but that certainly piqued my interest in involving Mr. T. It is a masterwork. In fact, I've, I've considered 
I've actually got it. I've considered uploading the entirety of it to my account and risk being kicked off of YouTube for good because it's that special. I, I think you should at least, at least upload the best song for me. There's a song called Treat Your Mother Right, and what's great about it is that he can't rap at all, <laughs> and yet he's just doing it anyway. I think it's safe to say Mr. T does not give a fuck. That, that would be an accurate description of his predisposition to life. I, I don't think he's ever given one. I'm certainly mm. not going to start now. He did a... I, um, he's not getting on any plane, that's for sure. He, he did an infomercial for something called the Flavor Wave Oven, and it is my favorite piece of late night television if if it ever comes on again. I, I hope it does. What, he, what is it? Well, he goes on for 10 minutes about how juicy and crispy this chicken he's eating is. <laughs> That's totally not stereotypical at all. <laughs> it's, does it's he, does so he wash bad. it down with some cool aid and watermelon afterwards? <laughs> this watermelon is so juicy. <laughs> I, I believe the exact quote is, This chicken is off the heezy. <laughs> What is it about late night? Because have you ever found yourself four in the morning watching America's Wildest Wild? I mean, America's Wildest Police Chases, or is that just me? Um, actually, I actually don't get cable anymore. I um, I never watched well, I anything. I, this, is when I was, this is when I was younger than my parents. Yeah, when I was. I moved out. I moved out a few weeks ago. When I was a wee little person. When I was a little girl. When I was a little girl in Skyrim. Motions. This is making me get motion sickness, kind of, because it's like your the headphones are even bobbing around left and right, and like. Well, I mean, I, I I appreciate that it's not doing the thing it didn't call it to do, where you stay perfectly level all the time. But I just just watching it now, focus on it really is making me feel quite. It's early. like it's it's funny the aspects of realism they're concerned with are like the worst things about being in a helicopter. Yeah, like that's there, not there, actually interesting. Again. Oh, it's really like, yeah, constantly darting there. It feels so unnatural, the movement. There's like no inertia or anything. Oh, uh, wow, I didn't expect this game to have any kind of realistic helicopter controls, I guess. Or that kind of thing. See, I, I think what really bothers me is that I read some reviews for this game and they tried to t and they were trying to tell me it had an exhilarating campaign. Hey, hey. Do, you think, do you think game of it? Do you think corruption is as endemic as people say in game reviewing, or is that just over? Not really. I think people have just given up, and so and so everything is getting a seven out of ten or higher. Yeah, pretty much. I do hate how some games don't get the scores they deserve. The like they're way better than the, what what they should get. Um, Cryostasis is one um, of those for me. We we played what well, we tried yeah. to play through that, and it broke my computer, that so was we don't speak of it again. It, it's a good game. Yeah. If, if you can get your computer yeah. not to die. Load in a ball of flame during it. What, are we finished? <laughs> I like how it's just kind of like, oh, we're done. Uh, just kind of floats away into the... the Gunfighter 1 is pretty beat up. So, um, this is kind of it. What have we learned today, Felix? Uh, Medal of Honor is as shit as I remembered it be. No, this is great. Look at it. This is. Ugh, I, I can't come up with a compliment. For I it. I give up. <laughs> that guy's evil eyes. <laughs> uh. Oh, wow. The online missions are a lot more entertaining because I can at least stab things. Goodbye, people. This is pretty much.